Was there any situation where Sega could have set up a Switch situation by having a time window where they could have had a soft release of the Saturn to build interest before the PlayStation came out? I felt Nintendo got their gears running after the NES Classic did well. In addition to there not being a next-gen console even being announced from its competitors, or rumored. Also, Nintendo gained third-party support, unlike Sega who lost third-party support through the 32-bit fiasco, including a loss from support distributor KB Toys. Sony, meanwhile, gained great support, including one of the finest and biggest sellers for the JRPG market, Final Fantasy VII. I mean, that was because of a good commercial. There's a good commercial for Shining Force 3 or something like that. That might have done really well as well.